very mild accessory exercises today. So we're gonna fire it up pretty quick here before we go to the floor. One of them is heel raises. So hold on to the wall or something if you need help with balance. You're gonna push up onto your toes, hold for three counts. No, that's not true. Push up on one and then lower on two, three, four, those counts. One minute, probably just one set, we'll see. Okay, hold something if you need to. Toes pointed forward, here we go, press up. And then lower down for two, three, four, press up. So controlling that descent, real big flex push-ups. Get those heels up as high as you can. <laughs> Trying to do light touch on the wall. I was like clutching the wall for dear life. <laughs> One of my least favorite exercises right here. I have tight calves and these always burn, burn, burn. You're past halfway. If you don't touch the wall much or a light touch, it will be some balance, which is nice. 12 seconds left. Three, two, and one. Now you're gonna do the opposite. You can sit, if this is hard for you, you can sit on a chair and do it, or you can lean against a wall. So lean back just a little bit. You're gonna lift your toes on one and then lower down two, three, four. So you're gonna work the muscles on the front of your shin. Um, if a range of motion is hard, sitting down, you can usually lift those toes a little bit easier because you're not having to lift your body weight at all. All right, ready, set. Here we go. Lift toes up, lower for two, three, four. I find these very hard <laughs> to isolate those muscles. I had to go shoeless because the sneakers had too big of a heel. Yeah, that's actually a good point. Let me chuck mine off real quick. Oh, you're right. Bigger range of motion if everyone wants to slip their shoes off real fast. <laughs> Yeah, because I was like, am I lifting my toes? Like they felt yeah, like they weren't really going up. Like, I was just pressing my toes into the fabric of the sneaker. <laughs> I'm like lifting, they're not actually going anywhere. This can be good if you've ever had shin splints, kind of working those shin muscles that get a little bit ignored. They're secondary and everything. Basically, if I, if I ever try to run at all, even like two steps, I feel shin splints. <laughs> Yeah, they're miserable too. I had them in high school track. Rest. Okay, two things for shoulders. We've done these before. First one is external rotation where you're here. 30 seconds, three, two, one, here we go. Even though you're working the shoulders, upper arm stays where it is. You hinge through the shoulder joint there. Elbows stay 90 degrees. I want you to Stand tall, hug the abs in so that you don't arch your back. When you get those hands back there, you should feel the shoulder blade area. Now, if you're doing this recording, it'd be great to do all of these twice, but I can see that we're not gonna have time for that. So we're doing it once today, or these are really good ones to add in day to day. They're so easy to add in. If you were just gonna do a five minute quick thing and some stretching, do these accessory exercises. All right, palms face forward. Fold your hands one over the other on your back, slide it up. Here we go. Palms face forward, stack the hands, slide it up. And you're again, you're trying to slide your hands up as high as you can without leaning forward or moving your neck or anything like that. Alternate which hand is touching your back and which hand is not. Okay, but why is it when I have five minutes and I jump up from my desk, I literally can't remember anything? <laughs> well, I started and I've been terrible about separating out like the accessory ab parts of the workouts to make real short, quickie videos. Um, I think I've only done that once or twice. Rest. Like um, the only thing I know how to do is open a bag of chips. They're <laughs> so good though. Rest. <laughs> 
Oh my God, that's hilarious that that's on the video. Um, <laughs> that'll be a fun surprise for someone who randomly chooses this workout someday. <laughs> uh, go to the floor, we're doing Pilates and a back extension. You will not need any equipment. All right, this is perfect for this because it's one and done on these. Everything you do once. About 38 seconds. I know that's a weird interval. My typical intervals are 30 and 45, so it cuts it in half. That's what I do. 45 is too long, 30 is too short. We're going to start with 100 preps. So legs are at tabletop, arms are overhead. You'll bring your arms, sweep them down, straighten the legs, push the belly toward the floor, curl up, pause, inhale back to the start. Get ready. Three, two, one. Here we go. The lower the legs, the harder it gets. Once you get in that curled up position, push your abs toward the floor, reach the top of your head toward the ceiling. Your chin is one inch off your chest. If it's too easy, straighten the legs a little bit lower, closer to the floor, a little more weight, harder to control. And the opposite is true as well. To make it a little easier, the legs go more up right toward the ceiling. You're almost done. Three, two, and one, nice and easy, set your feet down one at a time. Single leg stretch is next. So this is where you have your legs up, you grab one knee, you're gonna stay curled up the whole time if you can, and scissors the legs, pull two and switch. Knee is bent. Legs up, grab one knee, going in three, two, one, go, curl up, pulse two, switch, pulse two, switch. So, Chin one inch off the chest, head reaching for the ceiling top of your head. Abs really pushed hard down toward the mat. You can lower your head and shoulders for a quick rest, come back in if you need to. Try to relax the neck as much as you can. The more you lift the head toward the ceiling, that does help the front of the neck. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Hug your legs in, set them down one at a time. <laughs> Take those socks off, throwing them across the room. Single straight leg. You start with both legs up toward the ceiling. You'll grab one leg, curl up, and then you'll drop one leg down, six inches off the floor, pulse twice, scissors, and switch. Three, two, one, curl up. Here we go. Drop a leg, pulse two, Scissors and switch, pulse two, switch. Same thing, top of the head toward the ceiling, face is facing your thighs. If you're looking up, you're definitely gonna feel it in your neck. Think about having the longest length possible through the neck. Legs are very long, 12 seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Hug the knees in, lower the head and shoulders, drop the legs one at a time. Oh, I skipped one. How are we doing on time? I forgot one. Um, double leg stretch. Okay, looks like this. Legs start at tabletop, arms reaching outside of the shins, curl up, stay up. Fly open to a V and then swoop it in closed. Head and shoulders can go down if you need a break. This is a good one to get that on. Although your head and shoulders will be down on the next one too. So that's good to know. All right, inhale to get ready. Exhale, curl up. Here we go. Fly open to a V. Exhale, closed. Inhale, open. Exhale, closed. Getting to the point where I can't talk. Twelve seconds. Three, two, and one. Nice and easy out. Whew, we have two more, then we flip over to a back extension, and then you'll be done. For the next one, 
Hands under your butt will help. Otherwise your arms are just setting out next to your hips. Leg, both legs up toward the sky. Turn the legs outward so you're in a bit of a plie position. And then you lower both legs to the floor and zip them back up. Three, two, one, here we go. As you lower the legs, reach them away really, really long. And then exhale, zip them back up. Bad news is super hard. Good news is you don't get 10 reps even usually because each one takes a little bit. Still trying to pin your back down as much as you can. The lower the legs get, the harder that is to connect. Hands under the hips help. You're almost done. Eight seconds left. There's your beep. Bend the knees, set the legs down. We have bicycle abs. And then a back extension, and then you're done. All right, legs up, hands folded behind your head. Three, two, one, go. Slow and controlled. The twist is the important part, so reach the armpit toward the leg, reach the elbow past the leg, let the head sit heavy in the hands. Almost done. Abs are burning. And rest. Can you imagine if we had to do all that a second time? <laughs> that would be evil. All right, on your stomach. All right, this time I want your arms extended and forward overhead and thumbs up. So when you lift up, you're gonna be like really long. Traditional Superman, inhale to get ready. Exhale, lift up. Lift it in long. Try to keep your shoulders away from your ears. Plant them. Flex those glutes. Lift, lift, lift. Much harder than when we have our arms tucked in. So if you need to, pull your hands back, bend those elbows, get those hands by your shoulders. That'll make it a little easier. But if you can, stay where you are. 12 seconds. 10. Eight, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and lower down. Done, done, and done. <laughs> nice job. I sent um, a link with stretching that you can do. I'm not going to keep adding um, stretching videos since now I've got like six or so. So you can click that one if you want to follow video. I think it's only six minutes.